Hi, I'm Sandy from Fit Journey, here to help you today to get to race day strong and injury free. So everybody's talking about core strength and that's great. Having a truly integrated core is essential to our health and our well-being, to our posture and has a profound effect on the performance of our sport. If you have a truly integrated core strength, it's going to help you ensure good form as you train and as you compete and especially as you get to the finish line. On the flip side, if your core isn't strong enough, if you're starting to fatigue and you're losing your form, you're going to become less efficient. Your slouching and rounding will probably make it more difficult to breathe and it has a, an effect on your mental resilience as well. Your core is not just your six pack. <laughs> uh, those abdominal muscles are one of three abdominal muscles in your body and I would say that probably more important are your obliques um, in terms of training. But your core is everything from the waist to the shoulders. So it's your glutes, it's your back, it's your hips, it's your chest and upper back. Everything that incorporates good posture and efficiency. So stand up with me now and we're going to practice something else that is even deeper in terms of core integration. So we're thinking about the muscles on the outside of the body, think about the muscles on the inside now. So standing up, plant your feet, roll the shoulders back. And I can't see you, <laughs> but contract your pelvic floor and pull the navel in and up. Okay, and then release those. So that is deep core integration. We're going to coordinate that with the breath. So on your inhale, relax the pelvic floor and relax the navel. And on the exhale, contract the pelvic floor and pull the navel in and up. Okay, inhale, release it. Exhale, navel and pelvic floor. Good, so you've felt that in your body. Add that into any exercise out there that is for core, and you'll be building really truly integrated deep core strength as well as building the, the muscles on the exterior of the skeleton. So let's work on two core exercises today. I don't have planks in the mix today, but any plank is a good plank for me in my book. But today we're going to do two things laying down on the mat. And the first thing is laying on your back. It's good old bicycles. Okay, so you're going to lay on your back, hands touching the back of your head. You're going to lift both knees up. Bring one shoulder towards the opposite knee, and then switch. The idea is that you're pulling the shoulder blades off the mat, working your core, feeling your obliques working and probably do 10 to 15 reps on each side. The second exercise I love because it doesn't pull on the hip flexors. I'm gonna come into what's called butterfly with the feet together, knees apart. And then you're just gonna reach the hands towards the feet, curling up and curling down. You might wanna breathe out, pull the navel in the pelvic floor as you exert, release as you breathe in. And then if your head starts to get heavy, you can cup it with your hands. Awesome. I feel it all in here, not in here. <laughs> so let's find a way to add this to your routine now. So for the next three weeks, I'd like you to take one of those core exercises. Let's take the butterfly and reach through. Add that into a strength training routine twice a week. Do 15 reps, take a little break, do another 15 reps. And do that for three weeks and then come back to this video and comment. and Let us know how it goes. We'd love to hear from you. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel so you'll be notified when we post new videos. And let's move on now to our sixth video in this series, which is going to put the whole thing together. It's a, it's a short, full body weight fitness routine designed to hit those five key muscle groups that need strengthening for endurance athletes. Our next video is strengthening endurance athletes. <laughs>